welcome back. Today I'm bringing a recipe to you that's very simple for those of you that like pickles. It's fire and ice pickles. And if you haven't had these before, they're very simple to make. They're delicious. And there's several variations out there. And today we're going to make a very simple variation. We're going to drain this 80 ounce jar. It's an 80 ounce 2.4 liter jar of hamburger slices. Some of the recipes call for you to get the large pickle spears and cut those yourself or the whole pickle and cut those yourself and I think those are good too but today I'm taking the easy route and we're going to use the already sliced pickles and then we're going to drain this into this and we're going to take the juice and I'm going to be back in a minute to show you what we're hey going to do. Hey guys I've drained this out and that is a lot of pickles. If you like pickles oh my gosh you need one of these big jars and I was lucky I found this jar at HEB for three dollars and fifty cents and that's about four times the size of a regular pickle jar and they run about two dollars a jar so that's a pretty good deal I think so um, we're gonna go ahead and drain these off we're gonna put these in a bigger bowl and we're gonna come back in a minute I'm gonna show you exactly. that's a lot of pickles check that out and then that is the juice Ooh, I could drink that I don't know about y'all but I love pickle juice. And do y'all know how good it is for you? When you drink pickle juice, it is like a, uh, what is that they call it? Probiotic, but it's not really a probiotic. It's like, um, but go any further, is you're going to need sugar. We're gonna need two cups of sugar. Now this is for 46 ounces. So I'm actually not gonna use so much sugar because as I've said in many other previous videos, I try to reduce the amount of sugar and salt in most of my recipes. Most of the time it comes out okay. In this recipe, this calls for 46 ounce of pickles. The recipe that I'm going by, I'm actually gonna, again, change this up and make it my own. But this, since it's 46 ounces, then we have 80 ounces, it's almost double. So instead of adding four cups of sugar, we're gonna add two and then we're gonna maybe put another half in. It probably could do three cups of sugar, but I'm gonna do two and a half. And then we're gonna need six garlic cloves. And again, since this is for a smaller recipe, we're going to put three garlic cloves in there. Four teaspoons of red pepper flakes, we're gonna add five. And then four teaspoons of jalapeno, pickled jalapenos. And we are also going to add five of those as well. So those are the ingredients that you're gonna to need to make these fire and ice or hot and spicy pickles. We'll be right back. You're gonna add the sugar directly onto the pickles. I've got one cup in there already and I'm gonna add another cup. It looks like a lot of sugar, doesn't it? Ooh, it's kind of scary. And then I'm gonna put in another half a cup. Might just put a little less than half a cup. All right, there's that. And we'll be back with the rest of the ingredients. Here are the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna use. We're gonna put in four cloves of garlic we are going to add in two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. We're gonna add a little bit more because we have 80 ounces of pickle. And then we are going to add, looks like two teaspoons of jalapeno slices. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna do two and a half, maybe three of each because we have 80 ounces of pickle. And then we're going to use um, two teaspoons of pickling spice and I believe I'm going to use possibly three. I may use up the rest of the jar, which I don't know if we have two teaspoons in there or three, depending. And a little bit of hot sauce. And I was told that this is the best hot sauce. Tapatio. I'm not sure everybody uses Frank's and other um, hot sauces, but we're going to use that today. And those are the other ingredients besides the sugar and the pickles. And we're going to come back in a minute. I'm going to start uh, adding the ingredients. What we're going to do now, as I said before, we are going to add three te teaspoons. Remember, these are teaspoons. Okay, we've got four cloves of garlic in there. We've got two teaspoons of crushed red pepper. We're going to add two more. And then we are going to add our pickling spice. Pull that off of there. And we want, I'm going to add three teaspoons of that. Looks, nope, I've still got a lot more left in there, so we won't add that. And then I'm going to add some hot sauce. It 
We're gonna add two teaspoons of this. Actually, I'm gonna put three. All right. Now that's it. It's two and a half cups. I actually, um, the recipe calls for 46 ounces of pickles. We have 80, so we're just cutting the sugar a little bit. And I put the four cloves of garlic. We've got four teaspoons of crushed red pepper. We have three teaspoons of the pickling spice. And we have three teaspoons of the Tapatia hot sauce. And we're gonna come back in just a second. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, and I almost forgot, but we need to add, I've got, it looks like maybe about two, three tablespoons, or teaspoons, excuse me, of jalapeno. I got a little bit of juice there. We've left a couple of them whole, and then we've chopped some up so it gets the flavor in there. All right, hey guys, you're gonna let this soak for a few minutes. See how that sugar's starting to soak in. And according to the recipe that I was reading, this pickle juice, the sugar will pull out the juice from the pickles from already sitting. So if you've noticed, there's quite a bit of juice down there at the bottom. You see that? You see that down there? There's lots of juice and that's the sugar That's the sugar being pulled, or that's the juice being pulled from the sugar out of the pickles. The sugar pulls the juice up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this up really good, and we'll be back in a minute, and then we're gonna put these in jars, and you'll be able to see the finished product in just a few minutes, but you wanna stir this thoroughly. You wanna get all, this in, all these ingredients incorporated into the pickles, and this is gonna take you just a few minutes because there's a lot of pickles, and this is going to be yummy. I mean, it looks kind of um, good so far. This is even going to look better once we get these in the jars, but we're just going to keep incorporating all that sugar, the hot sauce, the garlic. You want to make sure everything's equally distributed before you start putting these in jars. Okay, we'll be right back. Mixing the pickles because he does a good job. He's stronger than me. And look at that. Look how good he's mixing that up. You want to have that all incorporated. And you look at, see all that juice, guys? Look at that. We drain the juice. There's the juice that come out of the jar, right? But look at all that juice right there. Amazing. That's what you want it to look like. And I already tried one of these pickles. They are delicious. Trust me. Now this are. is what it's going to look like. You see how much juice is, um, been pulled out of these pickles from the sugar. We still have a lot of juice left. Now we did add a, about a fourth of a cup of that juice back into our mixture. And to me, it looks really good now. And uh, we've got a jar filled. We left a little room because we are gonna add back some of this liquid once we're done. This is half the jar. We're getting ready to add this in. If you haven't seen these already, these are wide mouth funnels. And they make it really easy when you're canning. You can do hot, cold liquid in this. But what makes it nice is it's easier to uh, funnel into the jars that way. And then I want to tell you a little story. My husband and I, we travel a lot and we stop at little rest areas and we stop at little restaurants and little places on the side of the road that sell items and things. And one time we got these fire and ice pickles that were really good and they had maraschino cherries in them. So he came up with a great idea that we'll go ahead and can most of these as the regular recipe that I just shared with you, the fire and ice. But on a couple of the jars, we're gonna actually add some maraschino cherries and some maraschino cherry juice. It will make those two jars a little bit sweeter but man, I'm gonna tell you, mixture with those pickles, it's really good. We've had those before. Don't recall the place that we stopped to get those, but they were so delicious. And I, you know, we just decided, hey, that'll be kind of cool to add that into our last couple jars. So we'll be back in a minute. Oh, and I, ha if I haven't told you this already, you really need to sterilize your jars 
prior to adding the pickle mixture. And what that means is it's very simple to sterilize jars. I've already got these lids sterilized. I put them in yesterday, but you wanna add your jars into boiling water. Now this water is not boiling yet, but it's getting ready to boil. So I went ahead and put them in there, but you wanna let them boil for a couple minutes just so that they're good and sterilized, especially with this type of pickle because we're not doing a full on canning. It's just, we're mixing it up and adding it to the jars. So you just wanna sterilize your jars prior to adding your pickle mixture. All I've right. got about five pint jars of the pickles. And as I mentioned previously, we have two jars that we are going to add maraschino cherries and cherry juice to. It's something similar. I was mentioning earlier that we went to a little stop one time and bought some fire and ice pickles. And my husband told me that it was a place called Woody's, which I think is out north 59 about an hour and a half, maybe two hours from Houston. And it's a little place that sells tons of pickles, tons of canned products. They sell jerky, a bunch of different things. So we've got the cherry juice and the cherries added to these two jars. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this liquid and we're gonna add it to these jars. You notice I did not fill them all the way full. They're just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch from the top. That one actually looks a little full. And then we're gonna add the juice to these and then we're gonna seal them up and we'll be right back. I've got a lip on this bowl. If you notice this bowl, it's a actually it's so funny. It's a cheap bowl, but it's worked so well. I've had it for so many years. This is just a cheap plastic bowl. But what I love about it, it's got this little lip that you can pour from. It also has measurements in the back. You can't probably see those, but it does have measurements in the back. So I love this cheap bowl that I got like 10 years ago. It was probably a dollar or two dollars and it has worked wonders. So now I'm going to add all the juice to the remaining jars. We're going to go ahead and add that. And you want to fill it up. Um, not all the way to the top. You want to leave a little bit of air like I'm doing here so that you can seal it and uh, you won't have a mess when you open it up. So. We're gonna have that. And I think if I have any left over, I'm just gonna put it in a jar because man, we could add cucumbers to this liquid and it will be delicious. And right now we have some cucumbers in our garden and man, they have been so good. So I think it'll be really good. You see how that's filling up? It um, makes really, we're gonna add a little bit more to that jar. I tell you, I'm excited to try these. Oh, we may not have too much liquid left over, just a little bit. Looks like we just have a little bit, but enough pickles. I think we're gonna add that in a container and we're gonna eat those in the next day or so. So we're gonna just make sure these are all nice and full. You don't want too much, as I just mentioned, just enough. So you have a little bit of top you don't want to you don't want it full all the way to the top you don't want it to the brim because it'll be when you open it, it'll make a big mess and what's really nice is these are going to be like those ones that we got at Woody's and as I was telling you was it in Centerville Texas I'm not sure but it's like two hours from Houston and we stop there a lot. We do travel a lot. We love to travel by car. We also travel other ways. But um, when we're by car, it's fun because we go off on little adventures and stop at places and pick up things. And and it's kind of neat because we do have some neat memories of some of the things we picked up. And one of them was this fire and ice pickles with the cherries inside. And they were so good. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the lids on these. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And I've already sterilized these, so they're good to go. You're just going to... There's no special thing to do to it. You're just gonna make it pretty tight. And there you go. There's your fire and ice pickles. This one's one with the cherries and I'm gonna go ahead and can one up without. There you go, fire and ice pickles, guys. 
really hope I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. It's a fire and ice pickle, super easy recipe. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow us. And get a note, hit the bell so you can get notifications when we have new videos. We do appreciate you following us, and we really hope you come back for more. We love making these videos for you. So thanks so much for watching.